Hello everybody and welcome to this review video of the XPS 13 9333 model. Now I've reviewed the previous model of this on my channel, see the link in the description. I won't go too much into the detail that I covered in that video so you probably want to watch that video before you watch this video. Um, I'm just going to go through some of the things that they've upgraded on this. As you can see the laptop is still pretty much all the same, the chassis is all the same, you've still got the same ports on the left and right. It's still exactly the same weights, they haven't upgraded anything in the battery. The main upgrade is the processor, it now has Haswell processors. This one has an i5. Now the other main upgrade is the optional touchscreen, which this one has. Um, I'm just going to show you that now. So obviously we've now got the optional touchscreen, so instead of clicking to log on, I can literally just swipe up, and there's my login. And now there we are at the Windows home screen. Now, being a touch screen, we can now move around this with our finger. Obviously, we couldn't do this before on the previous XPS version. That was one of the main criticisms of it. To be honest, I wasn't that concerned. As a laptop, I use the mouse and keyboard, but a lot of people like to flick through photographs, that kind of thing. The touch screen works just like you'd expect it to on an iPad or anything like that. You can scroll up and down with your fingers. Multi-touch, you can zoom in and out. That's really good for watch, looking at pictures, that kind of thing. It's still 1080p, it's still Gorilla Glass, and it's still a glossy screen. I know there's some people out there that prefer matte. If you prefer a matte screen, this probably isn't a laptop for you. You can literally press to the desktop. There you go, the desktop. You can go back to the home screen. I can click into the Explorer. It loads into the Explorer. And away we go. It's also got an on-screen keyboard that I can type in, so if I'm going to do a search, I could go type in there, hit the little keyboard button at the bottom, and that brings up the on-screen keyboard. If I wanted to use that, I'm not sure why I would, with having a physical keyboard there, but that's an option. Go back. With Windows 8.1, you've also got the little start button at the bottom left. It's kind of, kind of a start button. It's basically a button that you press and you go back to the home screen. Some people find it useful. I, th I think to the I think to the long time Windows user that's really helpful, they're not kind of used to pressing shortcut keys and that kind of thing. Scan up, swipe up and you get to all your apps easily. These are all the standard apps you go with Windows 8, so I won't go into that. Another thing they've upgraded with this uh, new 9333 version of the XPS 13 is the charger. Now the old charger used to be a bog standard brick with a power cable, you saw it in my previous video in the link below. Um, the new version comes with a couple of different options. You've still got the power brick with the cable that goes all the way to the laptop, plugs in the side. But the power cable side of it, you can either have the standard cable, which is about a meter or so long, standard kind of kettle cable, or, which is something I found really cool, is they have this, which is a adapter which goes straight onto the brick and allows you to plug it straight into the wall ideal for carrying it with you in your bag and it winds up nicely around the unit so if I go like this the plug has got a little clip on it like that which allows you to clip it onto the next on, onto the next wire along and that makes it really super port portable that's all you need, you don't need the other cable because you've got the plug and you've got the brick in the middle and the power that is super portable, that's like the size of, you know, that's like a telephone size ideal to slip in the bag which makes it really good to go along with the Ultrabook. Previously, the power cable was quite a chunk, really, in comparison to the laptop. Now it's got a relatively small power brick to go along with it. That's one of the... And I imagine you can order these separately. If you've got the old version of the XPS 13 and you want a smaller power brick, I imagine you can order these from the Dell. Um, that's a really good upgrade. Overall, guys, this is a solid upgrade. Obviously, not worth it if you've just got the version of this without a touchscreen. The, the addition of the Haswell processor and touchscreen it's just really added bonus for me. It worked perfectly before and now it works better. One thing I have noticed with this new version is there's a slight kind of buzzing noise that comes from it when the backlit touch keyboard is on. I'm not sure you're going to be able to hear it here but I'll give it a go. I'll turn, I'll turn the keyboard backlight on using the backlight button and we'll see what happens. Not being here or there, it varies in frequency.
anyway, you can fix that by turning the backlight off, but it is remarkably loud. You might not be able to hear it on the video, but when you're in a really quiet room, that's going to really get annoying. Um, I've had a look on the Dell forums, and there doesn't seem to be any solution for it at the moment. Make sure you check out the in-depth review of the XPS 13 I did previously on my channel. I go into the details of all the specifications, that kind of thing. If you have been, thank you for watching, and hit subscribe up here to be notified of my new videos. Please hit a like if this has been handy for you, and I'll see you in the next video.